Man, I do love World War II games. Maybe I should read a book on it or something. How hard could that be? I'll just type World War II books into Amazon. How bad could that? Oh my god. So many books. So many books. If you're ready to get more serious about reading and researching World War II but don't know where to start, then this video is for you. I'm going to be recommending Max Hastings' Inferno, The World at War as a great place to start. Many traditional histories focus just on generals and politicians. They tell history like it's a series of events driven by big important people that just happens to affect millions of regular folk. This book avoids that drum and bugle style and goes into very human stories. It narrates the big beats of the war, but relies on interviews and diaries from civilians and soldiers. It goes into the experiences of the citizens of Leningrad starving as the Germans besiege the city. We see the stories of British and American sailors trying to brave the waters of the Arctic to bring supplies to the Soviets. We get to experience the Red Army from people who weren't ethnically Russian and how integration was challenging. This bottom-up telling of history is frank, brutal, but also very compelling. One Soviet veteran in the book gave the description of the army saying, all our soldiers on the front look like ghouls, emaciated by hunger and cold. It's easier to connect with a book like this than one which is just arrows on a map and play-by-plays of generals and world leaders. The scope of this book is also a huge plus. It covers all of the major fronts, from civilians at home, to North Africa, to Europe, to East Asia, to the Pacific, and it covers all the major years from 1939 to 1945. So if it's one of your first major books for World War II, you can rest assured that it's going to cover most of the narrative and you're not going to miss any of the major battles. This book also isn't afraid to delve into controversy. It describes how the British treated their colonial subjects and is frank when they didn't treat them well. It shows how the Soviet army frequently dealt with morale issues, desertions, drunkenness, and just feelings of despair. It dispels the notion that the German Wehrmacht waged a clean war, and frankly documents different things showing how the Germans planned to feed their nation and condemn millions of Soviets to starve. It goes into war crimes, it goes into all of that. While the book can be harsh and brutal, it doesn't sugarcoat just how many lives were affected by the war. While I love this book and have a great deal of respect for Max Hastings, I do have to point out that he's a journalist and a correspondent and not a professor of history. So you have to make sure as you're reading this, you're going into it with that sort of thing in mind. The book also does try to cover so many topics in its beefy 651 pages, not counting notes and sources, that some readers might feel like it doesn't cover a particular battle or front or topic enough for their interests, and they're going to want to dive a little bit deeper on their own. It is also important to note that because this book covers every major front, Max Hastings is a Western writer. So when he writes about the Soviets or the Asian theaters, you do have to keep in mind that he's going to have his own sensibilities, his own cultural background, and his own sort of preconceived notions about the war itself. Not a knock on him, but as readers, we always have to be critical of who an author is. Overall, this book is the perfect place to start because of how human the stories are, how it focuses on regular people, how it doesn't try to sugarcoat the brutalities of war, and how it does give a general narrative of all of the major fronts. For a hardcore military history buff, you probably won't find enough detail in here to be satisfied about a lot of the battles and fronts, but even then, a lot of the soldiers' stories and quotes and memoirs in here are super compelling, and it's a good place to start to find out what sort of battles and what sort of topics interest you when in reading about World War II. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed if you needed a place to start when reading about World War II. If you learned something new or are excited to give this book a chance, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out when I do any other book reviews or history talks. I want to know in the comments down below what you guys think is the best book for getting started in World War II, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay excited about history. So many books!